Hi, welcome to another NTN Insider video. I'm your host, David. Today, we're gonna to show you how to properly lubricate an SAF style bearing during the initial installation. And here to join us is our friend from NTN, Brian, how's it going? Good, David, thanks for having me. My pleasure. David, you know there's two primary causes of failures in bearings. Basically, it's either contamination or improper lubrication type methods. Too much grease, too little grease, that's always gonna lead a bearing to fail prematurely. So what you're saying is grease is the word, right? Pretty much, yes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll first start by putting on the appropriate PPE and everyone at home do the same thing as well. All right. All right. Take it away, Brian. So today we actually have a spherical roller bearing. It's been installed onto the shaft using a tapered adapter sleeve. The bearing has been packed with grease and the clearance has been set using feeler gauges. Okay. So now the next step is to put grease into the base of this unit to get it running. Hold on a minute. You said there's already grease in the unit, though. Yes, but we need to supplement that grease because as that bearing actually runs, there needs to be grease in the housing to be able to supplement it over time. Got it. Okay. So let me ask you, if we need to put grease into that housing, David, how much grease do you think we need to have in there if we already have some grease in the bearing? Hmm. Well, you've already packed the bearing with grease, so maybe just a little bit at the bottom for a little extra protection? So if we don't have enough grease, that bearing will definitely fail in a pretty quick manner. Ah, okay. I want to, we don't want any expensive downtime. Let me say, change my answer to fill it up. Well, if we have the opposite and too much grease in there, we have a heat problem. We're generating too much heat, and basically that's going to cause that bearing to also fail. All right, you got me stumped. How much grease then? <laughs> so when initially installing these units, basically what we want to do is we need to fill that base with the recommended quantity of grease found with the service instructions. Ah. Generally speaking, this is roughly around 30% of the housing cavity. In this case, for this particular application, we're gonna to need to put 20 pumps of grease into this housing cavity, okay. or roughly every corner is gonna have five shots of grease into it, if Got that it. makes sense. It does. And I'm gonna have you grease it, so you're gonna to have to man that grease gun. I'll help you out, but you're pumping it. All right, so for purposes of simulation, there is no grease in this gun, but we're just gonna show you how it would work. Okay, so let me help you out here and we'll fold this in the pile. Give me five pumps of grease. That's five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Great. That's our 20 pumps of grease. We have enough grease in this cavity to actually run this bearing. Excellent. So what would be next? Now we have to put the cap on. So we'll take this cap, close up this bearing. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to take that back bolt, we're going to tighten oh. these cap bolts down right now by hand, but those would be torque to the recommended torque specs before we would run this application. Got it. Now, what we just did, and we put those 20 pumps of grease into here, this was for the initial setup of this bearing before we ran it. Right. Over time, that, gre that grease is going to break down. We're going to have to replenish it. And to do that, there's a couple different ways. Uh, we could always use a grease gun, but we also have single point lubricators that can be purchased over time. And basically, those are... Uh, individual unit canisters that are either mechanical or gas charge, which will actually supplement the grease in that bearing over time and help replenish it. Well, great. That makes perfect sense. Well, there you have it. That is how you grease an SAF style bearing during the initial installation. Brian, thanks so much for all this information. Thank you, David. All right. Well, that about does it for this NTN Insider video. Check out ntnamericas.com for more info. And I will look to see you there. My name is David. Thanks for joining us.